się nie martwić, nie obawiać, nie będzie żadnych zmian. Bo jak mój syn powiedział, historii nie można zmieniać. Tylko ludzie nieuczciwi, ludzie, którzy chcieliby kogoś przekupić albo na tym zarobić. My nie zarabiamy, my pracujemy tak dla dobra ojczyzny, jak Strzeleckiego, bo to jest nasz pra, pradziad i to musi zostać. Today we actually have the opportunity to preview Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki's map. Uh, there was a lot of uncertainty as to the condition, um, how the map was stored, but what we found today is, is honestly um, incredible. W takim oto stanie znaleźliśmy oryginalne mapy Pawła Edmunda Strzeleckiego. that the size of the map is so big that we're not allowed to take it map as the whole map. We must take it in the sections, but really, really it's very good condition for to be so old. It is unbelievable how good the map really is. pokolenia strzeleckich. Jestem bardzo dumny, że mogłem się tu znaleźć. Świat się zmienił i to nam umożliwiło pobyt tutaj. Wszyscy stają się jedną wielką rodziną. Tutaj znaleźliśmy mapę, którą Paweł Edmund Strzelecki namalował. Jestem zadowolony. On jest bardzo duża, w bardzo dobrym stanie. Jesteśmy wdzięczni tutaj przedstawicielom Instytutu za przechowywanie jej w dobrym stanie. I niespodziewanie udało nam się znaleźć też listy Pawła Edmunda Strzeleckiego w bardzo dobrym stanie. Ja niejako kontynuuje to, co Paweł Dmuszelecki robi, też chcę podróżować. Moją ambicją jest zostać pilotem linii lotniczej i cały czas podróżować po świecie, tak jak to czynił Paweł Dmuszelecki. Strzelecki spent four years um, measuring and uh, looking very closely at what the 
oldest continent on our planet had to offer. He found thousands of things. He uh, shared his information and uh, today we probably still learn many things from, um, from his exercises. So one of many very special people, um, Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki should not be forgotten. His um, achievements, his will to discover and his sense of adventure is, um, is something that I personally think is not lost. I think many people still have it. This map had been drawn in 1845, nearly 160 years ago, and we actually have the opportunity to come and see it and to see what a brilliant work it is, has been by Sir Paul Edmund de Shaletsky. And the spirit of adventure and discovery and exploration, I think, is typified and amplified by looking at that brilliant work of the map. Interesowały mnie podróże oraz osiągnięcia i odkrycia Pawła Dmudaszyleckiego. W związku z tym starałem się dużo podróżować. Również starałem się wpajać w dzisiejszej młodzieży osiągnięcia, jakich dokonał, żeby no, pamięć o nim była wieczna. Robię to poprzez spotkania z młodzieżą oraz poprzez propagowania odkryć Pawła Dmudaszyleckiego poprzez media. Dumny jestem, że jestem Polakiem. Dumny jestem, że Paweł Edmund Szelecki dokonał tylu odkryć i stał się tak słownym Polakiem, propagując Polskę na całym świecie. Not only was Sir Pavel and absolutely accomplished explorer and measurer, he was a complete scientist. When he went through areas, he noted and recorded and collected samples of all aspects of the environment in which he traveled. Not only was he looking at geology, fossils, fauna, flora, he also was one of the first people to record the indigenous peoples of the areas and how they behaved. He also was very clever in the sense that he utilised as his assistant guides along his explorations some of the Aboriginals of the area to enable them to show him some of the special things of the environment which meant a lot to them. But he also was very knowledgeable about future generations and how they were going to require sustenance and water and various things like that and recorded many things in the areas where people were able to relocate things to provide them with a source of existence once they got to a place. And as I was looking at the story on the wall about Sir Roderick Impey Murchison who did a geological map and study of Russia in 1845, it mentions at the bottom here his influence extended well beyond the British survey and he actively supported geologists such as Szeletsky, whose work is also featured here. Now the irony of the thing is Roderick Murchison did a geological study of Poland and Sir, Paul, Sir Pavel never went back there. So whilst they were doing work together probably in 1845 while he was preparing that study, Sir Pavel was preparing the physical description of 
New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land, and they must have discussed things with each other and bounced ideas off each other about what presentation they were showing and how they were going to show it. When Pavel Edmund Szeletsky climbed the highest peak of New South Wales, he recognised a sense of freedom. And the mound behind me, the Kopiec Kosciuszki, is something that struck him in a very powerful way. He named the highest peak of the continent of Australia Gura Kosciuszki, or Mount Kosciuszko. And the reason for that was because this mound, here in Kraków, commemorates Tadeusz Kosciuszko, one of the famous Polish freedom fighters.